Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so I've just been reading this article on AFTV News, which states they believe Amazon are about to release a third generation Fire TV Cube. Now, the Fire TV Cube is Amazon's flagship streaming device, which has the best processor, graphics and sound chips. It also has double the storage than any other Fire TV device currently on the market and also has Alexa built into the unit too. The Fire TV Cube was released in June 2018. This was quickly followed by the current second generation, which was released in September 2019 and featured a better processor, Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus support, along with an Alexa voice remote. The first one, you could only use Alexa on the Cube itself. Now you've got a choice. You can use it from the remote or direct into the Cube itself. Whilst there's not been an official announcement from Amazon about a third generation Cube, it certainly is overdue. AFTV News have found that an update which has been pushed out by Amazon, which has code in the update, which is usually used by developers to allow them to identify which device their software or hardware is being used on, has suddenly appeared. The code refers to an Amazon Fire TV device which has not been seen before. The seen code is similar to codes used by other Fire TV Cube devices, which leads AFTV News to believe that this relates to a third generation Cube. This got me thinking, what is likely to be updated in a third generation Cube? I mean, it's fantastic already, isn't it? It's the fastest device out there. It's got the most storage out there. What else? could there be? Well, I think it goes without saying that Wi-Fi 6 support will be included, which will improve Wi-Fi speed and stability, if you've got a Wi-Fi 6 router, of course, or a Wi-Fi 6 access point. And it'll also include hardware accelerated AV1 support, which allows video to be streamed to your device and consume less data if the AV1 codec is used in the stream. Both of these features are already available on the 4K Max. Therefore, an updated GPU would almost certainly be on the cards. I think it's likely that the processor will be updated too. At present, Fire TV devices only have micro USB sockets, which will only run at USB 2 speed. So could we expect to see a USB-C socket to allow faster transfer rates for external hard drives and USB sticks, and also allow gigabit ethernet connections Although, as I said in a video a few weeks ago, 100 megabits, which is what the current USB 2 speed supports, is still fast enough to really stream absolutely anything out there at the present time. It'd also be good to see full audio pass-through support to match the NVIDIA Shield. There's also a possibility that the RAM could be increased to say two and a half or even three gigabytes. Also, could there be an OS update in the pipeline, say Fire OS 8? Who knows? But I think it's very likely. On the downside, unfortunately, I think it's unlikely that storage will be increased. Amazon haven't so far increased storage on any Fire TV sticks or cubes since they were launched. Most users say they would benefit from the extra storage for mainly sideloading apps, but Amazon subsidizes the cost of these devices, so are keen for users to use built-in apps and apps from the Amazon App Store, for which 16 gigabytes really is plenty of storage. So far, nothing has been confirmed by Amazon, and everything I've said about this is purely based on speculation. But as and when more details become available about a third generation Cube, then of course, I'll make an updated video about it. So let us know, what do you think is gonna be included in the third generation Cube? If it's not around the corner just yet, then it's gonna be at some point. They're not gonna stop at the second generation Cube. They are gonna release one at some point. But what would you think would, uh, would, would be added to the Cube? Sensible sort of things added to the Cube. Um, what would you like added to the Cube? Obviously, Amazon aren't going to add everything to the Cube. It is really a, uh, a like I say, a subsidised device. So really, their main interest is to generate more of an income from it by you purchasing or renting Amazon services from it because like I say, they do subsidize the uh, the cost of the device. And also on the storage front, I'd like to know 
If you have got a Fire TV Cube, have a look. Let us know, how much storage do you actually have left? I mean, have you gone beyond eight gigabytes of, uh, of storage on the Fire TV Cube? Because it does have 16, but at the moment, I mean, I've, I've loaded all the apps that I want to load on my Cube and I've still got about 11 gigabytes free. So let us know, Do are we in a position now where really we do need more uh, storage on the Cube? Do you do you sideload apps? You know, if you don't and you just download apps from the App Store, have a look, let us know on your Cube how much you've actually got left in terms of storage. It would really be good to know. Whatever you think, don't forget, comment down below. And also, whilst you're here at my YouTube channel, have a look round. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of topics. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.